James, what is that in your hand? Uh, it's nothing, Liz. Don't worry about it. I know what it is, James. Hand it over. <sighs> you can't keep doing this over and over again. I know. I know, and I'm sorry. I just feel a lot safer having one with me. <sighs> Look, I understand that it's been taking you some time still to get used to living here, but I promise to you that you're safe here with us. This hospital is a lot smaller than Kentsville, though. I almost feel like I'm trapped or something. Yeah, this place is much smaller than where you used to live. But hey, the forested area around here actually hides us better from walkers and other survivors. You don't know that, though. Alright, how about this? Maybe later today I can give you some shooting lessons. And then maybe you can help us protect this place. Okay, yeah. I'll see you later then, Liz. Hey, I said maybe. There's no guarantee. Ah, screw it. <laughs> so, might I ask, how'd you convince Alex to not have you working in the farms anymore? He acted stubborn with me at first, but I convinced him by mentioning some of the mistakes that Gavin made as our former leader. I had hoped that he didn't think you were coming on too strong though, right? Well, I might have scared him a little into getting me out of farming. You did what? Brian, we can't be going out of our way to hurt these people. They were the ones who let us stay in their community. I didn't want to have to scare him into doing it, but most of these Kentville people are either weak or they're complete assholes. You can't deny that. We can handle this in different ways though, without having to use brute force. Sometimes you have to use brute force in order for people to take you seriously. Whatever. I say that we should check out that convenience store for any baby formula for little Scotty. Alright, let's go check it out. How's she doing? I just got done talking to Pam. She said that there isn't any hope for the eye, but luckily there was no damage to the brain. She said that Grace is gonna be okay. I gotta tell my friends at the hospital about her and Vince. Don't worry, I'll have Norman and Ruth ride out to the hospital to deliver the news. Are you gonna do anything to Joe and Phil for what happened? What for? Well, if you must know, Joe failed to save Vince's life, and Phil was being careless with his gun and shot Grace's eye out. It wasn't their fault though, Kyle. It was just a simple accident. You said that there were a lot of walkers surrounding you guys. They must have just gotten scared. Those two have been causing trouble for us ever since we got here. That was definitely not an accident. <sighs> Alright, look. I'll talk to them later today. Maybe I can regulate them to just using knives and ban them from using guns. I guess that's a step in the right direction. I'll talk to you later, Alex. Yeah, and Kyle? I'm sorry about your friends. They didn't deserve to get hurt like that, because you're all good people. But nonetheless, you all did a good job finding that truck full of food and medicine. It'll help us out greatly. Thank you, Alex. How is she? Pam said that she'll be okay. But just the thought that she could have died such a pathetic death without even being able to say goodbye to her. Sometimes life isn't fair, Emma. People die from deaths that they didn't deserve, and you don't always get to say goodbye. 
But it scares the shit out of me to think about that. I can't lose anyone else that I care about. I know. It scares the hell out of me too. But no matter what, there's always people around you that care about you. And that you'll want to fight for them. Please don't leave me, Alice. Don't worry. I'm not going anywhere anytime soon. Don't be afraid to grab anything that might be useful. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Anthony, behind you. <laughs> Thanks, Bry. Here we go. This is just what I need. There should be more than enough baby food for little Scotty for at least a little while. So, what are you planning on doing with Scotty when we get back? I don't know. I mean, neither Emma nor myself are responsible enough to raise a kid. We were trying to think of someone else who could possibly raise him. You can't just ditch the poor kid. Emma's the one who found him out there. I'm not trying to ditch the kid. I just don't think that I'd be able to take care of him. That's all. Well, then, maybe you can learn how to raise him. You've had to look after Emma since this apocalypse started, and look how she turned out. She's one of the most badass people I've ever met. You're right. I'll try my best to take care of him. Atta boy. Now you keep looking around to see if there's anything else for Scotty. I'm gonna see if I can find a way into the pharmacy in the back. Give me a yell if you need any help with that. It's fine. I should be able to handle it. If you say so. Okay. The first thing that you need to know about guns is that they are not toys. I know. I'm not stupid, at least I'm not that stupid, but at the same time, there's no need to feel afraid of guns, they're just things. When you have to hold one, hold it out like this, outstretched, and it wouldn't hurt to take a small breath before pulling the trigger. Is there anything else that I need to know about? Make sure that you squeeze the trigger smoothly and always aim for the head when shooting walkers. What if I have to shoot a human, then shoot anywhere? Anywhere that could kill them? <sighs> oh boy. Here, test out my lessons on this smelly prick. <laughs> Okay, aim more to the side, and aim a little bit higher. Not bad, kiddo. Looks like I still need a lot of work, though. Yeah, not everyone's perfect on their first lesson. You'll get better, James. It'll just be hard for us to have lessons since I still have to regularly go on scavenging missions for supplies. Well, some lessons are better than none at all. Exactly. Well, thanks for giving me lessons, Liz. I already feel a lot better about staying here now. I'm glad to hear that, and you're welcome. Now run along and go play with your friends. Okay. You've been teaching that kid well. At least better than whatever crap you shoveled down your little brother's throat when he was still around. He's still a little unsure about living here. He keeps stealing guns to protect himself. I'm sure if you keep teaching him, he'll feel a lot safer here. I know I can teach him well. It'll just take a little time. Hey, thanks a lot, asshole. 
Now Phil and I are both banned from using guns while we're staying here ever again. It serves you too right for hurting my friends. Hey, if anything, Phil and I did all of us a favor for having less mouths to feed. That means more food for the rest of us. Shut up. You know, it's a shame that that stupid blonde bitch didn't die, though. Having to waste our meds on her. Piece of shit! There should be more than enough formula now. Wait, what the hell is going on here? Come on guys, that's enough! That's enough! All of you, please stop! Jesus Christ. Brian! Brian, are you okay? Brian! Brian! <laughs> 